those vile and vicious anti-Semites are at it again, my friends. Three high-profile anti-Semites now in the news could provide the answer to this ever-expanding epidemic. Nobel Prize winner Gunter Grass of Germany, former White House correspondent Helen Thomas, and Detroit Tigers outfielder Delman Young, although an unlikely trio, all have one thing in common. They simply tell it like it is and pay a high price for it. Gunter Grass's crime is for publishing a poem last month entitled, What Must Be Said. The poem implores Germany to stop selling to Israel its dolphin submarines capable of launching nuclear warheads, calling the Zionist state a greater threat to world peace than Iran. The very next day, amidst all the uproar, Grass defended his poem. Und das ist dann äh, nicht mehr aufrecht zu erhalten gewesen. Ich habe äh, die, die, die Punkte vorhin genannt, die Lieferung äh, von deutscher Seite eines sechsten Atom, äh, eines sechsten U-Bootes, das in der Lage ist, äh, Mittelstreckenraketen unter Umständen auch mit atomaren Sprengköpfen. Dieses Aussparen, dieses feige sich wegducken, das schlägt schon in Nieblungen teuer um. Ja, keine Kritik an Israel. Iran nicht die Macht, nicht die Macht, um das zu tun. Israel in der Tat als Atommacht hat dieses Potenzial. Jury straight away attack Ross as an inveterate Nazi, citing his membership as a teen in a Waffen SS, and declared him persona non grata, barred from ever visiting Israel. Gunter Gross fired back by comparing Israel to East Germany Stasi which had banned him from entering that communist country some years ago, suggesting that Israel was in very good company. The criminalization of Helen Thomas began on May 27, 2010, when she granted to a Rabbi David Nezanoff an interview on the White House lawn during Jewish Heritage Day festivities. Helen boldly told the rabbi that Israel should get the hell out of Palestine, which, by the way, the UN has been saying all along. Any comments on Israel? Comments Tell them to Israel. get the hell out of Palestine. Ooh. <laughs> Any better comments? <laughs> Remember, these people are occupied, and it's their land. So where should they go? What should they do? They go home. Where's the home? Poland. So the Jews, Germany. The, the Jews go back to Poland and Germany. And and America and everywhere else. Why push people out of there who have lived there for centuries? Now, are you familiar with the, the history of that region and what took place? Very much. I'm of Arab background. She should lose her job over this, insisted Ari Fleischer, former Jewish press secretary under George Bush, and lose her job she did. For Fleischer, aided by Abe Foxman of the ADL providing the Jewish hysteria, forced Helen Thomas to retire no less than two weeks later as a long-standing member of the White House press corps. But Helen was at it again the following December, telling an audience at Wayne State University, her alma mater, that Congress, the White House, Hollywood, and Wall Street are owned by Zionist Jews. They put their money where their mouth is, Helen added. We're being pushed into a wrong direction every way. Foxman, after calling Thomas a vulgar anti-Semite, does this mean there's such a thing as decent anti-Semites? demanded that the university's Helen Thomas Spirit of Diversity Award be terminated. Of course, Wayne State cowed, caved in and complied. So much for the Jewish thought police allowing for diversity of opinion. And as far as Helen's interview with Rabbi Nezanoff is concerned, this brave trooper still refuses to back down. And then some. And then the it's, rabbi who was interviewing you said, um, any better comments? He said, where should they go? Mm -hmm. I mean, they didn't have to go anywhere, really, because they weren't being persecuted anymore, but they were taking other people's land. Everything is distorted, but oh. I don't care, you know. You don't care at this at, point? No, at hell, no. Well, you got a lot of criticism for it. How did you deal with all of that criticism? We have organized lobbyists in favor of Israel. You can't open your mouth. I can call the president. United States, anything in the book. But if you say one thing about Israel, and you are off limits. Do you consider yourself anti-Semitic? Hell no. You do not. I'm a Semite. Last in this dangerous gang of three is baseball star Delman Young of the Detroit Tigers. 
when harassed last week outside of a New York hotel by a panhandler wearing a yamoki and Jewish star, Young responded, so the news story spins it, by yelling out anti-Semitic slurs, which in better times would have been ignored as nothing more than a common exchange of words. But the NYPD was called in and Young was arrested on a hate crime charge. Anti-Semitism, Foxman announced, has no place on or off the ball field. Is he actually planning on opening up offices on the pitcher's mound where the Detroit Tigers play? And so, the question remains, who's your favorite anti-Semite? A poet? A journalist? Or a baseball player? Hold your vote. I guarantee there's many more anti-Semites waiting in the dugout, just itching to come up to bat.